how's it going so for today's video I want to talk about um, a fish that I truly love I've kept throughout all of my life and was one of the first fish I ever kept uh, as you can see here on the video we're gonna talk about the guppy now the guppy is such a common fish uh, it's such a beloved fish for all the variety of colors I mean you could end up with any possible color pattern and variant in guppies so any strain is possible and they're also very hardy fish they can adapt to a wide range of temperatures from 20 to 35 degrees they're um, they don't need a lot of oxygen either they can adapt to anything they are very tolerant of nitrates uh, people even use them like as feeder fish and not that I recommend that <laughs> but uh, a lot of people use them instead of goldfish to cycle tanks like um, they're basically nuclear fish that you often use as a startup fish just to see if your tank is gonna kill anything more expensive but even though they're not expensive fish um, they're a very interesting fish uh, they're extremely easy to breed uh, all you need is a male and several females I say several females for a male because males are very insistent on breeding um, and I will zoom in a little bit here and show you what a male looks like and what a female looks like so here we have a beautiful red male this is an antler male you see an antler is actually a um, type of the ancestor of the guppy, the common guppy. So these two are antlers. So these are kind of the ancestors of the guppies and from antlers they bred the guppies. So um, male guppies are very colorful. They're, um, they're often smaller than females. They have the long tails. They have the bright colors. And here we can see two females. See the difference is quite uh, significant because the female is rounder uh, her anatomy is often very different um, you often well in a mature female you often see the babies through them see male female comparison um, the lower part of the belly in the female is way more rounded than a male a male is more sunk in because they don't have babies inside see this is actually a male that's dancing for the female yes I am breeding antlers and guppies together so another uh, main significant difference between the male and the female is that the fact that the male actually has a visible penis yes I said it a visible penis uh, what I mean by that is I hope my zoom is proper um, underneath the belly of the goldfish is a type of fin which when they come closer to the females it erects and that's how they inject their semen inside of the belly um, let me just this guy is super excited so it's a fairly good example you see the amount of energy these um, these guppies have well that's the thing they're very very insistent on breeding now for breeding it's super easy just let them do their thing uh, female normally will expel about 20 to 30 maybe sometimes 40 when it's a big female uh, babies um, just like a natural birth like any mammals they come out as live babies live fry right out of the belly um, once the female is ready so about 28 days is the gestation period so every month you'll have a new batch now the thing with breeding guppies is that if you overbreed your female, meaning you constantly um, get her pregnant, she, it, you will need to feed very, very, very well and balanced diet, very rich in calcium and other minerals. Because as any animal, upon giving birth, they use up a lot of the minerals. So a female that no longer has enough minerals will develop curved spine. And a curved spine is basically all the important essential nutrients and minerals sucked out of their anatomy, out of their bones, out of the muscles, and it just depletes them, sucks them dry, like a vampire. <laughs> so you have to constantly feed your guppies with very, very good um, varied foods. They love to graze 
on uh, algae and things like that um, I was gonna say something uh, oh yeah this is why I also say male to female ratio should be three females for one male just to give them a break males are super annoying um, like all types of males <laughs> they can be you know and very insistent so therefore like the death count in guppies is often females they will die first because there's so many factors there's the childbirth sometimes when they they expel 30 babies a month well I mean sometimes it goes wrong right sometimes it's hard for them to expel the baby and they die in childbirth there's also the mineral deficiency upon giving birth um, so what I suggest uh, feeding your guppies it's just a wide variety of vegetable matter and um, small crustaceans, very balanced pellet food without any soy, avoid corn as fillers, have as many ingredients like proper fish, shrimp, spirulina, garlic is always good. And I like to leave my lights on a little longer just so that there's natural algae for them to graze. As you can see here on the plant, they're grazing on some algae. They love that it occupies them. They really are good at cleaning algae off your plants. And they're really, really hungry all the time because they're very active fish. Now, um, just want to come back two seconds to uh, the subject of breeding. It's not necessary to put the female in an isolation box right before she's ready to give birth um, the survival rate is pretty high regardless and if you have a big planted tank with only guppies in it they don't tend to eat their babies very often none of the babies that I have in here including the Molly babies like none of them been in isolation and none of them got to eat them, as you can see so it's not necessary for you to put them in a quarantine box. It's actually more stressful for the babies and the female to be in plain sight of everyone and everyone can come harass them. For In the mind of the fish, they cannot hide. So it's less stressful for them just to let them be and see how many babies come out of there. You understand? So uh, to the tank, uh, how you should set up a tank. First for guppies, because you will have a lot of babies, I suggest getting a powerful filter. But on the filter, always keep a sponge, as here I have on my intake, a sponge. A sponge, a mesh, anything to prevent the tiniest particles, um, such as baby guppies or fry, from entering your filter, because that's kind of a dead sentence. So always make sure that your filter intake uh, does not suck up your babies. But they do enjoy high flow, high filtration, and oftentimes power heads and power pumps will just crush up the fish. So don't get power heads or power pumps. Uh, air bubbles, like um, air filters, is all good. But they do enjoy a flow. As you can see here, guppies love to swim against the current. In their natural habitat, they swim against little streams that end up in the ocean so they're the fish that are in the streams the small high flow streams right before going into um, the oceans like in the tropical regions so this is why they really like and enjoy flow you'll often see them go against the flow of your outtake of the filter some good filters are uh, for guppies I do enjoy actually the hang on filter uh, aqua clears aqua clear 70 aqua clear 100 because it makes really good flow at the top if not get a really good canister filter such as my um, I have a cascade 1000 I do enjoy this is uh, by the way a 30 gallon here let me unzoom a little bit see this is just a 30 gallon aquarium so I have a capacity of a 100 gallon filter on a 30 gallon aquarium. But I can, as you can see, it's crystal clear and there is flow. Um, so for water parameters, um, nothing special, really. They adapt to a lot. Uh, just don't try to play around too much with your pH. Like if you try to drop your pH, it's unnecessary. Leave 
stable conditions that you get from your tap water obviously treat it with like prime or vitamin C to prevent you know uh, ammonia burns or um, chlorine burns but they're extremely adaptable and resistant um, also temperature like I said it doesn't really matter just not below 20 so have a heater set up at like 24 25 but if you lose power for a couple of hours or even a day if you're not like in Antarctica they'll be fine okay they're really easy beginners fish they're the best beginners fish actually the only thing guppies as in my last video uh, about the most abused fish in a hobby I mentioned the guppy why because your regular guppies that are sold um, just on the general market are bred for specific types of colors to make them pretty appealing and oftentimes uh, the result of that is inbreeding so inbred fish are not very hardy uh, they often develop genetic mutations cancers bent spine and they waste away within three to six months of your initial purchase now don't get discouraged by that because as I said in my previous video yet again if you get guppies from different sources or even just mix handlers and guppies from good sources I mean clean fish with no disease okay treat them prior if you mix your different sources of guppies and they breed their children will greatly outlive the parents which will probably die within less than a year in your tank but that doesn't matter because the babies that you will breed will last between three to five years because their genetics will be more wide range and stronger and as as I said don't try like save every single baby the most important is to have a strong genetic line in your guppies if you want to breed a specific type and pattern you can still do it but constantly put in fresh blood this is why I always mix in endlers with guppies because it's always good to have something a little different then later on if I want just reds I keep just my reds but I always bring in different types of reds you know from different sources to always upgrade because they breed really fast so you can have several generations within just a couple months and they reach adulthood within what four months not even so they are ready nearly ready to breed at four to six months they're like really like rabbits so just do your research about them a little bit like how to breed if you want some certain strains but don't stress about it they're really easy fish and you will truly enjoy them all right so I hope this video uh, got you the information you were looking for uh, to get updates of my latest videos please hit the bell button underneath like and subscribe and I always answer to any of your questions below so don't hesitate all right I'll see you